Hello, and welcome to the FinBiz 2030 Building Resilience podcast series. This episode features highlights from the Leadership, Purpose and Ethics webinar, hosted by Kara Haffey and Indy Hothi. In this episode, we hear from Johnny Jacobs, Finance Director at Starbucks EMEA and Mental Health Speaker. He is introduced here by Indy. Next up, we have Johnny Jacobs, an absolute trailblazer of a leader himself who has been shaping the discussion on well-being and mental health in the workplace. Now, Johnny has ideated and delivered hugely successful initiatives on well-being and even developed partnerships with the likes of McVitie's and Charity Mind, which provided many people with mental health support and raised the conversation for millions more. And more recently, Johnny was appointed the finance director of Starbucks EMEA right before COVID hit, so great timing, but even still, he worked, he worked with the team there to put mental health further up the agenda and delivered a number of initiatives. All of this over a period of six months and during lockdown. No easy feat. Johnny, over to you. Thank you, Indy. Far too kind an introduction. And, and there are some moments, I think, in your career where you can feel genuinely proud, you know, about and something that really pulls at the heartstrings. And in July... Last year, when I visited my local supermarket, Tesco in England, there in prime position was the UK's major biscuit or cookie brand, as some of you might say, across the world, partnering partnering with mental health charity Mind. And OnPack was dedicated to encouraging people to have conversations. And the message was, let's talk. Let's talk about our mental health and let's talk about our mental well-being. I'm just going to share with you a little bit as to why that meant so much to me personally. Um, and I'm going to share something with you that I've only recently started to find my, my voice in, in recent years. And it's fair to say the likes of ICAST and One Young World have really helped me to do that. And I remember back to being a kid and I can never quite work it out, but I've always felt a little bit different. Um, growing up, I managed to acquire a scar on the middle of my forehead. It's a bit like Harry Potter, but sadly without the secret powers. And I also felt a little bit different mentally. I used to kind of fight with people at school, you know, in primary school, and I just felt a bit like an outcast, to be honest. And from a young age, and I didn't probably know it at the time, but I was surrounded by people with mental ill health, suffering from likes of, you know, depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. And I could feel the effects that it can have on a young person growing up. And have you ever felt really really lonely well you know I I have and you know I, I remember sat in in my bedroom in a, in a small terraced house in Glasgow and I was effectively in a position where I was bringing myself up alone and I got to a really really low place a normal day for me would be you know doing a lot the, the long walk to, to school come back you know do the homework try to work out what to eat for dinner you know, household chores, do all sorts of stuff. And then I was working two jobs and I got to the lowest of lowest places that anybody can get to. And there was nobody around, you know, there's, you know, young, young child, nobody around really to say, let's talk. And I always looking back on that, find that a bit odd. So fast forward to early 2017 and I was incredibly privileged to be the strategy director at Pladis, the global snacking business, like I say, that owns the likes of McVitie's Biscuits and Godiva Chocolate. And they had just signed a mental health pledge to break the stigma of mental health in the workplace. You know, and as, as Kate said earlier, you know, economies are not going to be healthy without healthy people. So pledges like that to support the health of our assets and the health of our humans is so important, so important. And as you can imagine, I gravitated towards the efforts of the pledge and offered to lead the mental health and wellbeing program, was so privileged to become the exec sponsor. And at the same time, I was, um, I've no idea why, but ICAST asked me to become the CA of the year. (laughs) Um, And it's fair to say that also changed my life, but partly because I went off to Columbia to One Young World. And I came back with this energy and this sense of purpose of really wanting to try and make a difference. And I recall one of the first opportunities I had to do that was talking at the uh, giving a keynote speech at the ICAST admission ceremony. And I can tell you, I have never been so nervous in all my life. Uh, heart jumping at my chest. And I thought, I'm going to talk about mental health. And as we know, 
you know, mental health perhaps isn't a subject that's is spoken about, um, and not necessarily by finance people either. And, and 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 after I spoke, somebody in the crowd, a young person in the crowd, said to me that me talking about mental health made a real difference to them. And I realised in that moment that each time we share a story, we send a lifeboat of hope to somebody else. And I thought I have to keep going. So back at Pladis, we were working on a corporate purpose to bring happiness to the world. And we effectively created this mental health and wellbeing program with an amazing team of leaders of over 120 ambassadors and created this partnership of tea, talk and a biscuit, let's talk, and got the nation talking. Really incredible team effort. And I suppose, you know, I feel incredibly, you know, grateful to, you know, to the likes of One Young World and to ICAST for giving me the confidence to share and, you know, thank you for everything that you do. And I feel grateful to be here, you know, at Starbucks, you know, to be an FD at Starbucks. We have an amazing purpose, which is to inspire and nurture the human spirit. How cool is that to inspire and nurture the human spirit with humanity at the core of what we do? And I feel very, very humble to be sponsoring now the health and wellbeing, mental health and wellbeing program in EMEA. And also as a trustee of the Mental Health Foundation, which is the UK's leading charity for everybody's mental health, really try and bring this all together to try and to try and support the agenda. Because I guess I feel some type of responsibility in some way that I'm here and that I'm here and I should share and I should try and do something um, to support. Um, and maybe I do just have memories of that. 13 year old boy and representing the millions of young people and people for that matter all over the world um, who maybe just wanted somebody to say let's talk and I feel passionate about the role that business can play in the community so you can imagine I'm really looking forward to the conversation ahead. To hear more podcasts or to find out more about Finbiz 2030 go to finbiz2030.com Join the conversation using hashtag FinBiz2030. FinBiz2030 is a joint initiative between One Young World and Chartered Accountants Worldwide. This podcast is produced by Big Top Multimedia. The original webinar series was produced by Be There Productions and Big Top Multimedia. Special thanks to Pexels.com. Pexels.com.